Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and welcome to a special edition video showing the fastest snow vehicles in GTA Online around a circuit in the snow. Now obviously this is a very special Christmas Day video which doesn't have much relation to the regular testing that I do, but if anyone hasn't seen that, I have already tested every single vehicle in the game under normal conditions. So if you do want to know how all vehicles perform in a variety of different classes and formats, check the annotation on the screen or the link in the description for the full playlist of videos, and of course feel free to subscribe for future updates. So first up in 10th place is the Fieldmaster. This gets a lap time of 2 minutes 46.9 which is very very slow as you might expect. Obviously the Fieldmaster was never going to be uh, very quick at all for this, uh, for this video and it isn't when I tested the regular version. So as I mentioned this is a very very special video just done as a bit of entertainment really more so than anything else and something that I want to point out about our next vehicle is there's a little smiley face just on the uh, the window there which is quite a little fun addition I would say to the stockade here in ninth place with a 1 minute 43.8 so a significant amount quicker than what we saw from the Fieldmaster. Now there are only 10 snow covered vehicles in the entire game and the only way to access those is in single player, two missions in single player when you are in North Yankton. That is obviously the prologue, the very first mission in the game, and one mission later on in the game where you go back as Michael and Trevor. So those are the only times you can actually access these vehicles under normal circumstances. But obviously because there are certain things that you can do on PC, I've been able to access these vehicles whilst the snow is on on my regular racing circuit. I tested them on Christmas Eve and I've got this video out to you on Christmas Day. And it's just something for a bit of entertainment. It's you know it's, it's not meant to be uh, comparing it with any other lap times or anything like that. There's absolutely no point because it's completely different conditions. But you know it's a bit of fun and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Having these you know testing these snow covered vehicles in the snow it just makes total sense so we had the emperor there in eighth place you know the emperor is generally a very slow car and then in seventh place we've got the burrito a few seconds up the road of it uh, with a one minute 32 so we did lap times are starting to come down but you know we're not going to be breaking any records anytime soon in the snow because you are obviously you have a lot less traction in the snowy conditions than normal so in 6th place we've got the Mesa, the snow covered Mesa with a 1 minute 29.8 and this is basically the start of a number of vehicles that are all very very close in terms of pace. Now I just want to point out that all of these vehicles are completely stock, no upgrades are applied because the only way you can access them is in single player in North Yankton and you aren't able to upgrade them in that situation. So they are completely stock and that's the way that I've decided to go with this and that's generally the way that I decide to choose whether I use stock or upgraded vehicles in my regular testing. Um, but one thing to point out is that all of the vehicles that we've seen so far are actually exactly the same as their regular counterparts. So the Rancher XL, here it gets a 1 minute 29.6, which is only a tiny bit quicker than what we saw from the Mesa, and, and this is in fifth place. This snow-covered Rancher XL is exactly the same as the regular Rancher XL. So if I was to take a normal Rancher XL, that is completely stuck around the circuit uh, in the snow, it would get exactly the same lap time. So basically the snow on these vehicles is just an extra skin. It's more like a, a different livery, but obviously it just completely goes with the whole idea of it being uh, the, the whole map being snow covered at this point. So uh, yeah, you know, I, I figured it was the perfect time to do it. Now the police rancher gets a 1 minute 29.4, which is only very, very slightly quicker than the Rancher XL, and that's because basically they are both exactly the same car. The police rancher is technically a different line of code, and it's got its own name, and it's in the emergency class, but ultimately the police rancher and the Rancher XL are pretty much exactly the same car. Now we move on into the top three, and in third place is the Saddler. A 1 minute 29.2 for the Saddler puts it only two tenths of a second quicker than what we've just seen so we've had four cars at this point that have all been separated by about six tenths of a second so that's pretty amazing on its own um, but the saddler in the snow it's helped by its four-wheel drive certainly um, and, and it does have a reasonable amount of power and straight line speed most of the cars in the snow do understeer a little bit 
because you just have a little bit less grip and they are in general slower than what they would be in dry conditions obviously um, but in second place we have the ACA so the ACA does it really well to mix it in with all of these sort of bigger bulkier trucks and things um, the ACA gets a 1 minute 28.1 so that's a good second quicker than what we've just seen from the Saddler um, and the, the front wheel drive of the ACA actually helps it I, I would say in terms of putting that traction down getting the, the drive out of the corners it's not the most powerful vehicle in the world but it does have decent amount of traction in general because it is a sedan and sedans generally have decent traction um, and its front wheel drive system does help it but ultimately it is only in second place it is a clear second but it, it's it's uh, second place overall because there is one vehicle that is much much quicker than it and that is the police road cruiser this is easily the quickest snow covered vehicle in the game a 1 minute 25.3 a good three seconds quicker than what we've just seen from the ACA and it's it's pretty much the one of the very few rear wheel drive cars from this video and it does have a, a little bit more power than say I think the burrito is also rear wheel drive but obviously it's very heavy and you know there's not a lot of power to it so it can be a little bit difficult to, to handle around the corners but it get it, it's it's just generally a lot quicker it's got good traction uh, for compared to all of the other vehicles in this uh, in this video by the way obviously it doesn't have good traction compared to a t20 or something but it, it does have good traction compared to everything that we've seen here and it handles the snow quite well um, and yeah it's it's obviously a fun car and this is basically the only car that is unique it's the only car that isn't based off another car so all of the cars that we've seen as I mentioned are exactly the same as their regular counterparts apart from the police rancher but that is essentially exactly the same as a rancher XL the police road cruiser is completely different it's a completely separate vehicle it's actually based off an Esperanto from GTA 4 um, and it's you know it's a surprise that we don't have an Esperanto in GTA 5 in its normal sort of civilian form but it is a unique vehicle and ultimately it is the quickest snow covered vehicle in the game in snowy conditions. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video guys. It has been something a little bit special. You know, it's not something that you can do every day. There's only snow very few days in the year and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do something like this for Christmas, a uh, Christmas day special. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you celebrate Christmas, I really do hope you have a Merry Christmas and have a good holiday period if you don't. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and all your comments down below and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support you show in general. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.